and if it's the first time you file it up uh, with these you may get an error saying because uh, your other sound card that you were using before obviously isn't going to be attached it's going to uh, come up with an error saying error in the in the sound driver just ignore that now what you do is you go to settings or configuration rather at the top of the screen the first thing you need to do is click remote control and you will find there there is a little picture of a CDJ 400 you've got to make sure that you activate them and that there will turn green then go into your sound setup and this is what you do and let me just check you can see this clearly I'm just going to zoom in okay the top you want inputs none you set the output to an external mixer because that's what you're using you're using uh, whichever mixer whichever mixing dash you use here I'm using a Behringer DDM uh, 4000 but obviously it can be any mixer it doesn't really matter and then you set it to instead of using your usual 4.1 sound card or what have you you just set it to ASO driver and then click ultra latency ASO then just click OK and all should be good aside from the fact let me zoom out here again I'm just going to zoom in on the CDJ don't forget to press this button here which will enable the PC mode the little yellow icon comes up there saying USB and also a yellow light so you need to do that with both of them so I'll do that with the other one as well and now what we can do we can literally unless you're searching for a specific song you can literally use I'm going to show you this if I look at the file menu you can use this here on your CDJ 400 by basically twisting and pushing you can select your songs and load it on the decks as I'll show you here now all I'm doing is using the control on the CDJ I'll scroll down here 2008 for example I'll have a bit of Gareth Wynn so I just press that again and that is loaded on that deck now what happens I'll just press play on the CDJ and we're away so that is now running through that and it even tells you on the screen what track you have selected so all is good now what I can tell you as well I'll just pause that what I can tell you as well if at any point you just want to switch to CDs as I'll show you here all you do is just press the CD again it won't crash virtual DJ and we'll just press play again on that and I'm playing off a CD The very last thing is, I don't know if this will make any difference, if you're wondering what specific uh, sound performance settings I've been using that I know work good with these, I'll just give you, go back into configuration again, uh, I think it's performances, that's what I've got for the CDJ 400s, I've got uh, the, um, the, the speed and the quality setting, literally one from the lowest uh, on the quality, sorry, which is uh, one away from the fastest setting. I've got latency to 512. I've got it overclocked. I've unticked the safe mode. Low pass filter 11. Master tempo fast. And I've set the uh, scratch optimization for quality rather than latency. Okay, chaps, so that's how you hook up your CDJ 400s uh, into Virtual DJ and use them as uh, MIDI controllers. Like I say, you can, at any point you can just switch between, you go straight back to CDs, won't cross virtual DJ. So you've got the flexibility of using, quite literally, all the tunes on your hard drive, plus any CDs you've got that you haven't uh, yet to burnt to hard drive. So uh, all is good. Um, the settings I've given you, they've been working perfectly for me. 
So um, I hope you found that useful. I do apologise for the quality of this video. It's been a while, as you guys know, since I've, uh, I've done one. So uh, hopefully I'm going to put a few more out over the next coming weeks while I'm still off on my holidays, the Christmas holidays. And um, I hope I get back up to speed and make the quality of them gets a bit better. But anyway, magic words, practice, and indeed, enjoy.